Welcome back to AM Buffalo. One of our favorite moments over the past year together was, of course, <laughs> dressing up in Shakespeare-like wardrobe and running around the streets of Elmwood Village, oh, yeah. sitting and having a cup of coffee. Do you remember that? I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Mercedes. We are going to repost some of those fun yeah, moments yeah. on social later today for you to check out. If you don't remember quite clearly, but we have fun. the woman behind Shakespeare in the Park. Of course, Lisa Ludwig. We're so grateful for you. Oh, thank you for having yes, me. Good it's our 48th season of oh. Free Shakespeare this year. Now, we know who you are very, oh. very well. <laughs> but for some of the folks out there, for for the one or two okay. that don't know who you are, what is Shakespeare in the Park, Lisa? Hi. Uh, well, I'm Lisa Ludwig. I'm executive director of Shakespeare in Delaware Park. And Shakespeare in Delaware Park is Free Shakespeare here in Western New York. We're at Delaware Park right by Hoyt Lake. And we are the second oldest and one of the largest free Shakespeare festivals in the country. And uh, we open Measure for Measure, our first show of the season, on June 22nd. And you have been an amazing partner mm -hmm. here on AM Buffalo for so long. We love being able to work with you, as you saw from our yes. funny little video. But tell us about your memories of being on AM Buffalo. Oops. I know you've been doing this for several years. You did it with many of our hosts. I did and well actually my favorite memory and I wasn't even thinking about it till you said this uh, there was a storm one year and I got called in to sing happy birthday a la Marilyn Monroe for Keith Radford as oh my God. <laughs> oh my and God. Um, I had this and I did the happy birthday to Keith and surprised him and honestly I haven't been looking at other people laughing it was it was special it was special he was bright right and we that I don't know why but Man, that just came back uh, very quickly. <laughs> oh my it was God. It's, it's been like that all several weeks for us. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Many memories coming back. And uh, of course, our memories are very recent, but there's some really great ones out there. And yeah. we appreciate you sharing. So if you ever think of anything, a bunch. feel a free bunch, to yes. jump on social and tag us in I your memories. Will. It's going to be amazing. But Tell us about this year's Shakespeare yes. in the Park. So Shakespeare in Delaware Park. So we actually opened our touring show. Uh, we do a touring show now where we go to different venues throughout Western New York. Love that. That opened last week. We started out at the Roycroft and then Great Cliff. <gasps> Great places. And then Tonawanda Park. So we've been everywhere. That's called Where There's a Will, There's a Play. Oh, I and, love that. And uh, that's a one-hour show that we're, as I said, going to 25 different venues. But our main stage show opens Measure for Measure uh, June 22nd and then runs through July 16th. We're there uh, Tuesdays through Sundays at 7:15, and then a little-known show called Romeo and Juliet. I don't Very know. Very little known. I don't know if anybody's Aww. ever heard of it. We uh, definitely have to go to check that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, that opens July 27th and runs through August 20th. And as I said, we're free. We do, of course, take donations. Yeah. Uh, we pass the hat at intermission. Yeah. Um, and our audiences have just been so amazing for 48 years. Just like our sponsors, you know, you guys, WKBW, M&T Bank, Wegman all of them you know we're we're a cultural staple here yeah. in Buffalo and anyone can take part so you bring your lawn chairs tell people Absolutely. how they can come and be a part yes it's so much fun to see what people have packed in their picnics you can bring a picnic <laughs> you bring your lawn chair or a blanket and you sit in a beautiful Olmstead Park under the stars so and mm -hmm. hear the words of William Shakespeare you see a professional production and people shouldn't be afraid of Shakespeare I yes. know some people uh, were forced to read it in high school and went Oh, I don't get it. It's because Shakespeare was meant to be seen and heard. Yeah. And that's why we want you to, to if you haven't been there before, uh, check us out. But we have so many people who have been coming, you know, now bringing their grandchildren. And it's magical to it bring is. your whole family. It's and sometimes expose people's them to that. first experience of live theater. Yeah. yeah, give us your website. Our website is Shakespeare in Delaware Park org. You can find out everything about all the shows and all the different locations we're going to as well.